But one of Team USA's female biathletes is from Cape Elizabeth. Claire Egan says her journey to biathlon evolved from running cross country to skiing cross country, and it involved a little bit of encouragement from an Olympic gold medal biathlete. He said, I think you'd be good in biathlon. And, and if an Olympic gold medalist ever offers to teach you what they do, you should just say yes. Little did Claire Egan know she would fall in love with this novel sport. It sucks you in. There's a lot of drama in skiing and shooting. Every biathlon race comes down to the last shooting and the last shot even. She likens it to the final seconds of a football game where it all comes down to the kicker either nailing or missing a game-winning field goal. There's never anything that you can rely on in biathlon. Never anything. Which is why Claire has spent the last four years since her last Olympics honing her skills with the rifle. I think the biggest difference now is that I'm an expert. I know I can... I'm a world-class shooter now. It's a critical part of biathlon. Missing a target equals a penalty lap, setting that skier further back from the lead. In biathlon, athletes shoot from two positions, standing up and lying on their stomachs. When they're standing up, the targets are about the size of a chocolate chip cookie. But when they're lying down and they have more stability, those targets are about the size of an Oreo cookie. Oh yeah. Those targets are about 50 yards away. So this is basically what my position looks like when I'm standing. Claire offered to give us a little demo, without ammo, of course. Seriously, how do you do that when you're when you're breathing heavy and now you have to try and focus to relax enough to to pick off a target that's the size of an Oreo? If you're, all of your muscles are relaxed and the rifle's just sort of like sitting on your body, it's like sitting on a table, and then you just pull the trigger and you should have a hit. It's that simple. <laughs> Simple. Olympic athletes from Cape Elizabeth have a way of making their sports look that way. I think we only have one statue of a person in Cape Elizabeth, and it's a woman, and it's Joan Benoit Samuelson. It helped me fall in love with, with the Olympics and with sports in general. I think just seeing that from a from a from a very young age that women, hey, women can be athletes, women can be professional athletes, women can be Olympians, women can be gold medalists. Everyone who grows up where I grow up knows that. And that's actually really, really special. So Claire actually told me she's getting ready to retire from the sport after this World Cup season ends in March. She speaks five languages and she is looking for jobs, but for now she is focused on earning a medal. Her next event is the 7.5 kilometer sprint tomorrow at four in the morning and she has more events to follow. If you want to hear more about how Claire trains and how biathlon works, you can find extended interviews with her on our website and app. And Chris, we were just talking about this before the show, but most of us are good at like one thing. <laughs> Why is Claire good at so many things? And also, what's in the water in Cape Elizabeth <laughs> just breeding these Olympic athletes? Let's see, I'm going to ski, I'm going to shoot, I'm going to speak five languages. <laughs> like, I'm going to get a degree in international communication. She's just like making all parents disappointed of their other kids everywhere else. Yeah, our <laughs> parents watching this are like, come on, guys, this is all you can do? All right, back to the Olympics.